Uh, let's not forget the foolishness. So let's not forget the foolishness. Oh. Well, that comes in part of your life. Mm -hmm. We got. Uh, we're gonna start this out, y'all. Psalms, the hundred ninth chapter. All praise to the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Yes, sir. Now, I'm just gonna be got a son, <coughs> Jabbar Shalom. Jabbar Shalom. Psalms 109, the Psalm of David, a cry for retribution. Mm -hmm. Psalms 109, hold not thy peace, O God of my praise, for the mouth of the wicked and the mouth of the deceitful are open against me. They have spoken against me with a lying tongue. They have passed me about also with words of hatred and fought against me without a cause. For my love, they are my adversaries, but I give myself unto prayer. And they have rewarded me evil for good, and hatred for my love. Set thou a wicked man over him, and let Satan stand at his right hand. When he shall be judged, let him be condemned, and let Let them curse. 
shown and exactly what's been going on out in the streets. Y'all let us say this first. A lot of times when these things happen, you be looking for a representative from the camp or us to represent an event that go on around right here. Y'all, we can't be talking out of both sides of our neck on no issue that go on out here. Y'all, we can't talk about, you know, the different things that's happening in here because this, it seems to have got next to me personally. We all go out here now and break protocol. Mm -hmm. What we are talking about is what we've been doing for years. Mm -hmm. And that's warning the people what's coming. There's a million videos out there telling them about boots on the ground. Mm -hmm. Text messages was flying a week before this that the uh, city police had geared comparable to take on the Iraqis, to take on Afghanistan. But they got it trained on the people with a few nine millimeters at max. So y'all, we've been warning this. We've been out on the street corner. We don't change protocol because this issue is happening. All this is is just what we've been telling you is what's happening now. Have we been heed to what's happening? What are we going to say more? Or what is the presence going to do more? Been out there at a time when they can listen. You can't listen when tumult is happening. Who going to listen? It's a fever pitch at this point. The scripture even tells us about a man drinking wine in the book of Sirach. Do not rebuke him when he's in his mind. How are you going to talk to somebody fully in place? What kind of conversation do you think we're going to get out of that? If he's here with his mind under that condition, then he's going to think it's okay. I can get drunk and talk about the law because I can still understand when I'm full. The same way is Adam, unless they touch from the, eat from the tree of life and live forever in that corrupted flesh now. Y'all, we can't do it. We understand the pain, but we already been studying about Rachel's children weak who we are part of. You know, this, this week, and we already been warned that it's coming for the time period. What do you think we've been talking about? Just, just spitting in the wind? You don't think we're preparing you for what you see? It's just happening. Right. Either you scared right now because you're saying, oh, no, wait a minute, I ain't think it's going to be in my lifetime. <laughs> Hell, I was looking to put my feet up on the bed and we look at my grandchildren while I get sent off. Right. Bad as you may want to see it, now it's coming. Now it's here. <laughs> Yo, do what they are showing you is what we've been talking about all the time, what happened in Jerusalem in 70 AD. They cut off 270 from getting in this way. They cut off Lucas and Hunt from getting in this way. Those are where our shops are with our food in. When we loot up and take everything before they surround the shop, what's coming in? So guess what the loot is coming next? You think you're going to be able to be on your patio queuing some lamb and sitting on Mark and David and don't think two more is coming your way when they smell it and it ain't nothing else in the city? Go ahead, boy. What you got? I got, uh, yeah, I got Jeremiah 30. Let's get that. Jeremiah 30. I'm Jacob Strug. 30, where you going, man? Strug, man, verse 10. Verse 10. Yes, sir. Hey, she's not going to show up. How are we going to start this out in Jeremiah, the 30th chapter? Start around the 10th verse. Y'all, and, and, and a lot of times, y'all, we get this value challenge. But every word Christ warned us and all the things that he warned us of, he said, how are you going to bind a strong man? I mean, how are you going to take a strong man's house unless you bind him? You think you're going to bind him with Home Depot rocks they're getting out of people's landscaping gardens, calling at them M16s and shields? No. 
But no. just, was, just, was has anybody know had you been putting the truth out that people who know you, has any, any of them people after all these years come back to you and say, hey, I see it, I need to know, tell me what's going on, I want your perspective on this? No. Yes. <laughs> 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 All right, y'all, we're going to uh, We're going to start at Jeremiah 30. We're going to start back up in round uh, We're going to start at 7. We're going to start at 7. We're going into Jacob's trouble. And which is the time when the house of Jacob, the twelve tribes of Israel, will be persecuted worldwide. The things we see in the beginning of Jacob's trouble. Worldwide persecution of the saints of the Lord. May the Lord have mercy on our little brother Mike Brown soul and every other brother gunned down. That's right. By these rogue police officers. May all the innocent blood shed from A. Bay going back to the God. Yes, sir. Up until all the innocent blood shed up until Christ return. It all will be answered for. Mm -hmm. The Lord, the Lord is all about vengeance and get back. We say it all the time. Vengeance is the Lord's. Right? And when he enter into judgment, then you get emotional. That's right. Feel me? Ain't no such thing as a velvet revolution. Mm. If you say nation gonna rise against nation, that's gonna be bloody conflict. Right. That's what we have with. We're gonna read this whole chapter right here. That's right. And it's about Israel returning to their promised land. But before that, you gotta go through trouble. Persecution. Alright, so we shouldn't be surprised even though it hurts. We shouldn't be surprised in this final while to see our brothers get gunned down in New York. The Lord told you it was coming. So now we need to follow the commandment. Gather yourselves together. What are we doing, I heard? That's right. We ain't gathering together to protect each other. What are we doing? We plan. The Lord said gather together before he enter the church. Right? We got little brothers just gunned down. I mean, even, even if you think he's uh, shot with the lot. The judgment don't fit the crime. Yes, sir. That brother was executed, make no mistake about it. That's right. Right? I need to look up the plan. He's got uh, too many signatures, petitions. Uh oh. He started a purge mm -hmm. across country. Gun sales stuff. And collecting money for the for the office. Yeah, so understand what you're up against. That's right. Right? We need to be crying out to our Lord to defend us. That's right. Right? And that type of spirit ain't on the dick bro no more. He doesn't even if vengeance is the Lord, why you don't pray to the Lord for vengeance? Mm. Ain't the brothers in the spirit world asking the Lord, how long, Lord? Will you not avenge our blood that is shed? Mm -hmm. Right? But ain't in your spirit today. You're like, oh, okay, I'll, I'll pray for the claim. Mm. <laughs> I'm going to pray for you, all right? Go ahead, bro. Yeah, Shalom, Rick. I just want to say, you know, we was out, you know, speaking down at the event and whatnot. One of the young brothers that I was walking up to was when I walked up to the police department. And he was saying, how.
it's going to be the remnant. You think we can return to the land with a loop type mentality we had last night? I seen shopping. They done took Isaiah 55 to a different level when he said, Come and buy bread and milk with no money. <laughs> no, that ain't what the law was talking about. <laughs> Verse 4. Uh, and these are the words that the Lord spake concerning Israel and concerning Judah. For thus saith the Yahweh, we have heard a voice of trembling, of fear, and not of peace. Ask ye now and see whether a man doth travail with child. Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his lords as a woman in travail, and all faces are turned into pales. Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble. But he, but he shall be saved out of it. For it shall come to pass in that day, saith the Lord of hosts, that I will break his yoke from off your neck, and I will burst thy bonds, and strangers shall no more serve themselves of him. But they shall serve the Lord their God, and David their king, whom I will raise up unto them. Therefore, fear thou not, O my servant Jacob, say the Lord, neither be dismayed, O Israel, for lo, I will save thee from afar, and thy seed, and thy seed from the land of their captivity. And Jacob shall return, and shall be rest, and be quiet, and none shall make him afraid. I just want to explain verse 10 of that when it says, and, and David shall, verse 9, and David their king who I will raise up to them. Some will take this right here, no messianic maniacs, and run with that and say, see, David is, it will be their king, but this is the problem we got that. David, it said it will come from his loins. So it's Christ David. He said, I'm the root and the offspring. Yes, he's David. But we got to understand when it's called him David. And understand what Christ said to the Pharisee. If David said Christ is he is Lord, then how can he be his son? So the question remains, he's the root of David and the offspring. So we're talking about in his offspring mode, which was already from the beginning. Or you got to figure out how David reproduced David, the same David, born again into resurrection, and then he will be the son. But that ain't out there. Nowhere out there. So we ain't going to get caught up in that, y'all, but this is one that they'll go to to try to take the Messiah out of the way. But Christ is David because David is of Christ. We need to always understand that, y'all. He says, I'm the root and the offspring of David. Revelation 5.5. Isaiah 53. A son is born of David Lawrence. It's not David. If it would, that would be easy work. But y'all, that's very good. Now what we want to do is turn to this Exodus 23. Man, was you finished with that Jeremiah 30? You want to read on some more? Yeah. Okay. Where are you going? Verse, Verse 11. 11. Okay. For I am with thee, said the Lord. Who with us? The Lord. Okay. To save thee. To do what? To save thee. Y'all, we got to take full, we got to be in full assurance that the Most High means this. Y'all see, we ain't faced yet what's planned for us. This is just the beginning of song. I'm talking about when they start knocking on every door. I'm not talking about the looters. I'm talking about the looters of your soul. <laughs> when they come for you to ask, do you believe in this Christ? Do you believe in those words in the Bible? To, to, if I can say something to what he just said, what he just mentioned about the beginning of sorrows, 
You know, if we look at Matthew 24, when the Messiah, they asked him, what's the sign and when these things shall come to pass? We were born into them. There's been earthquakes before we were born. That's right. There's been rumors of wars and wars. All these things have started already. We need to be mindful of that. Where we are as a nation, have, we've already been born to this stuff and it's already started. We, we just moving and seeing it at another level. It's just at another level right now because they now can name multiple cases throughout this country. This was before Trayvon. This was before a lot of brothers, but right now they're saying to, to this very day they can name. This happened in New York. This happened in Florida. This happened in California. This has happened here in St. Louis. St. Louis is just taken to a different level. Right. You know, we know we're a different kind of people here. You know, don't nobody do it like we do it, but the fact is, look at what we do. Do we, we showing the best and we showing the worst. You ain't been seeing it like that, like here. You know, not since Rodney King has it blew up like this. Wrong well, no. Go ahead, brother. Absolutely. Go ahead, brother. Verse 11 again. Uh -huh. For I am with thee, says the Lord, to save thee, though I make a full end of all nations, whether I have scattered thee. Yet will I not make a fool in the thief. See, this is telling us where we gonna flee when he say, I made a fool uh, in of every nation where I scattered thee. Where we ain't scattered at. <laughs> where we ain't. That's the first place. If we ain't there, then this place where we may need to be running to. But he said, I have made a fool in of every place that I have sent you to of those nations, but not a fool in of thee. So basically he's saying, for my children that obey my voice, I will not make a fool end of you where you sit to. Right. I'm going to protect you. Right. Around all that chaos, you're going to be protected. Yeah. Go ahead, brother. And David, if y'all also write down Jeremiah 23, brother, we're talking about David. Uh -huh. Seven chapters back in Jeremiah 23, it brings up the king again. That's right. And says he's coming out of the loins of David. What did it say? A branch out of the loins of David. That's right. At Jeremiah 23, verse uh, 5 through 6, and it calls this very branch the Lord, our righteousness. That's the precept you will use to let the brother know it ain't just talking about David. That's right. It's about one coming through David who will sit on the throne with David. That's right. All right, so back to Jeremiah 30. What does it say, brother? Jeremiah, verse, uh, Jeremiah 30, verse 11. Just pick, pick it right. Start at 11 again because uh, he has a little bit more to go. Okay, Jeremiah 30, verse 11. Uh -huh. For I am with thee, saith the Lord, to save thee, though I make a full end, a full end of all nations. Will I have scattered thee? Yet will I not make a full end of thee. That's right. But I will correct thee in message. What are you gonna do? But I will correct thee in message. Y'all understand what the Most High said? Like He said, "Look, I will save you in them places, but you better not shame me." That's you right. Know right. You, you don't shame your parents. <laughs> How you gonna talk about honoring our father and our mother and you shaming our father? He gonna correct us in message. Go ahead, bro. And will not leave thee all together unpunished. Do you see that? Will not leave us all together unpunished because he's not a respecter of persons. Because we Israel don't mean we can show our green like that. Go ahead, bro. Verse 12. What does it say? For thus saith the Lord. Thy bruise is incurable. Do y'all understand slavery is incurable until the doctor heals it? The chief doctor. This bruise, y'all, we got is incurable because no matter how high you get, guess what you link back to with the history in our books today and what they're teaching tomorrow? Back to the plantation as far as you go. Does your surname change from slavery? Is your future, according to all the doctrines taught tomorrow and some taught today and yesterday, talk about this bruise being cured? Go ahead, brother. For thus saith the Lord, uh, thy bruise is incurable, and thy wound is grieved. Y'all don't think this a grievous wound would happen out there? Y'all don't know how, who you playing with. You ain't got a clue about this chant. Who? This is a 
champion. Mm -hmm. This is a Goliath, y'all. And understand that that don't mean we for fear this Goliath because we know the stones that's coming cut out without man's hand is about to hit it in the forehead. Right. Go ahead, bro. Verse 13. What say? There is none to plead thy cause. You see, when the Most High talks about constantly, we'll see the words of plea concerning the Most High and the children of Israel. Pleading and begging our cause are two different things. According to the Most High, the Most High says when he pleads, he's like, look, I ain't going to tell you one more time. Then I'm going to have to do something. That's a plea. That's what you try to tell your kids. Look, I've been pleading with you three times about yeah. keep having company when I'm gone. They don't beg you not to have company, do they? No. Please, Junior, don't have nobody in my house when I'm gone to work. Who would have heard that? <laughs> no, it's a plea to you. If you don't want your friends set on fire, let me find out when I get home. Go ahead, bro. There is none to plead thy cause that thou mayest be bound up. Thou hast no healing medicine. All thy lovers have forgotten thee. Y'all see that? Say that again. What that who forgot us? All thy lovers have forgotten thee. Now look, it talks about that Revelation 18 and 2, the lovers of this nation. All the ones who make enough merchandise out of us. Everybody in our neighborhood that forgot about thee. Because you merchandise. Go ahead, bro. They seek thee not, for I have wounded thee with the wound of an enemy. With the wound of a what? An enemy. Mm. With the chastisement of a cruel one. Mm. For the multitude of thine iniquity. Well, because of what? For the multitude of thine iniquity. Uh -huh. Because your sins were increased. Y'all see that, y'all? Look, before we ever was able to go out there and march. If we didn't learn from the Trayvon incident with these so-called leaders that run to tumult, mm -hmm. understand what we're talking about. This same leader should have gotten practice in the Trayvon case. Yep. How do you then come with this champion that you deal with, this champion of murder and deceit, and you're going to come with him with the same thing he clubbed you over the head with the first time? Yep. You don't know nothing about your people you represent. How are you not going to ask these parents, is it anything we need to worry about that the world won't find out in an opportune time? Right. What do we need to know first so we can present our transgressions to the world before we point the finger at the chief transgressors? What is it about what we need to know? You don't think they could have talked to Dorian early on? They did the same thing with Rachel Gentile. How was she not prepped before she got up there? Right. Don't y'all see that when they put this out there, now we ain't got no defense for our transgression. Yep. Yep. Yes, it don't matter. That, I mean, yes, it has nothing to do with gunning him down. But knowing your enemy and how dirty they play. They play dirty. <laughs> How you in a game with a dirty player and don't know the rules? Right. You expect a dirty player you right to be fair. Oh. Look, this is like you you trying to convince me, not to cut y'all bro, that the boy you selling dope with, that the boy you robbing the bank with, there's some form of loyalty. Right. Are you kidding me? We doing wrong. Right. <laughs> what loyalty do we have? How you going to present wrong to me in a loyal manner? Right. Yeah, you got to see the right about that because when you say how are we going to prep for this, when they, they all was waiting to hear the words of her mother, they said all she could do is break down. She didn't have nothing to say. That's right. She couldn't say nothing. Look, me and Matt talked about it early on. Man, we hearing someone about some stolen clothes. Now, we hearing that through the wire. Right. Who heard that before it kicked off? Ain't nobody, why they ain't mentioning it? To kill the rumors. So guess what? What you thought was a rumor ended up being the truth. And you think about it, too. I thought about something that anyone said that when that police officer came upon him, how he didn't know that that cop was sent for him. Well, that's right, in his mind, because 
of what he had done. Still trying to get away, exactly. Y'all, y'all see what they are setting up 